Now, Richard, AOAD, right? No, I'm so I, I've sorry. I've lost confidence in Have how you? it's pronounced. It I've doesn't matter. I've lost confidence as well. It's too many vowels. Well, well, it is, actually. Don't worry. I've said this before, <laughs> but it's a risky game of countdown, my name. <laughs> you wouldn't do it. I it's mean, fine. I'm so sorry. I'm just here to celebrate ten years of Dan Wilson. That's I know. What. Ten years? Ten years? A decade? A whole decade. What did we do before? I, do, I don't know. It was an know. ice age. <laughs> it was an ice age. <laughs> we didn't know what to make of the news, the media. Entertainment, <laughs> culture, <laughs> yeah, without right, that yeah. man. Indeed. Interpreting it. We need it. It's like a priest. We've well, lost. Well, thank We've lost God, haven't we? Thank goodness. But now we have Dan That Wilson. we're fine. So, listen, tell me. Yes. About this. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's a book. It is. And believe me, this is true. It's the first book ever written about the Gwyneth Paltrow 2003 cabin crew dramedy view from the top. Well, it has to be. I don't think there's ever been another book like that. You do describe it as the book that nobody wanted. You could apply that to anything I've done <laughs> um, in written form. No one's asked for it. Um, in fact, many people have said, please stop. Right. Um, often mid-sentence, they're, they're saying, just stop this now. But Tell I... me about it, though. How did you get the idea and what's it all about? What's, well, what's going on? Yes, I watched the film. <laughs> yes. And I've not really slept since. Seriously? It's yes. had a massive impact on you? It's a haunting work, Lorraine. Do you think? A haunting work, yes. Have you seen it? I have, but I kind of have, and it, it didn't really have the same impact on me. I think that's the way you're sort of meant to see it. Right. If you've seen any film, you've seen View from the Top. There, there she is, Gwyneth Paltrow. I remember. Playing a blue-collar person... Right. Um, ..who what, dreams of being an air stewardess. Right. Um, she becomes one. We can see. As you can see. <coughs> but can she become an air stewardess and maintain a loving relationship with Mark Ruffalo? Right. Seemingly and, not. And is that the whole premise? No, she manages to also do that. Right, OK, fine. Everything she wants comes true. It's very reassuring. Did you, did you find comfort from that movie? I find it incredibly comforting that everyone in the film looks so relaxed. In fact, they look... People say that you should make each film as if it's your last. This looks like a film made on the way to another film. Oh, right, OK. What I like about this, though, is we've got Gwyneth in here, we've yes. got all of that going on, but we also learn a little bit about you. Yes. Which is nice. Thank to you. To find out a lot more about you. Yes. I, liked, I liked your description of Christmas. Yes. Because that's an interesting one in your house. Christmas in Ipswich. Yes. Um, Christmas is still celebrated in Ipswich, Good. Um, like in the developing world. Um, and <laughs> they put the lights <laughs> up early. Right. Often around June to get value out of, of it. Of course. Um, and it's a lovely way to see the shoe shops, of which there seem to be so many shoe shops in Ipswich. Yeah, what is that? I don't know. People oh. just love big, boxy white trainers. That's fine. <laughs> and also those narrow ones um, that... I don't know why they're so narrow. I um, can't get my feet into them. Can you not? No, absolutely no. not. I need, I need fat ones. But I don't think you can sell houses without wearing them. I see. Right, OK, I get it. I've got it now. Maybe but... it's to put your foot in the door to stop people. You've got good ones. Thank you, yes. They're I've, posh. I've decided to dress like, um, like a clown. Let's All right, OK, a but, a, but a posh clown, a designer yes. clown. It's well, actually know. lovely. So, look, you're doing Crystal Maze. Um, well, yes, I've done some. Yeah, you I don't know, you know, who knows? Oh, you'll be doing more, love. Uh, well, look, I mean, it depends if people watched the last lot. Well, they did, so it's I mean, funny. as in if they don't, there yeah. might be a chance it could come back. Well, I hope it does. I hope it does, cos it's, it's a cult series. You have to be awful careful how you see that. Yes, you it's do. It's a cult Cult series. is a wonderful way of saying unpopular. <laughs> Niche. But that's fine. Niche. I'm, niche look, is another one. Niche, niche is another niche one. Niche is where I live. Travel man, more travel man, or what are we thinking? I, look, have well, you been everywhere? In you many done ways, all? I'm winding myself down. Right. Um, I, I'm not doing any more. There will be a national day of mourning. There will. Um, I think possibly in November. Right. Um, so no, I'm not doing any more. I'm concentrating um, on not leaving my house. I don't like travel. Um, it turns out, in a savage irony. Right, that is quite sad, being as how you were travel man. It's a real oversight. It is. In many ways, the show felt like a codification of a clerical error. And what is next? I mean, you've got to do more books. Can you do one? Can you do yes. one on a movie that I really like and that did haunt me, like something like Blade Runner? Or is that? Too... I don't feel you're giving this film a fair enough chance. Okay. Uh, a film which has a a fight with a series of large buns. On deck right. is something you need to revisit. I don't think you've really seen the layers in this film. Do we all need to go back and watch it? I think we should. I mean, if you've got access to a streaming service... Right. 
it's very competitively Can priced. one enjoy the book, though, Richard, without having seen the movie? Oh, sorry, I thought you were going to stop that sentence after book. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you can also read it without having watched the film, because if you've watched any film, you've watched View from the Top. She um, wants to become an air stewardess. I don't know why she thinks she can become so rich... Right. ..becoming an air stewardess. No, indeed. Um, ..because, you know, it's not a terribly hierarchical structure. Sure. Um, but she wants to do that, she becomes that. She wants to have a romantic relationship, she gets that. So she gets her dreams? Oh, she also wants a berry, and she also manages to get that. It's all there. Yeah. I really like you. <laughs> thank you very much. You're kind to lie. <laughs> I'm not lying. I think you're well, great. Well, Richard, thank you, know, you very much thank, indeed. And let's hear it from Mark Wilson. Absolutely. Ten years off. Ten years? I know. It only feels like nine. <laughs> it does. It feels like nine and a half. <laughs> Richard's Books on Tap is out right now and it is a joy. You can come yes. back whenever you like. Thank you. Open and how many years have you been on? I've heard a rumour it's 35 years. 35. Well, you must have started as an embryo. I love you. Please. <laughs> right.